so let me first uh, define uh, what is a strain gauge so strain gauge basically it is a passive transducer it is a passive transducer because uh, there is no active component or active element is used in this transducer basically in a strain gauge strain gauge converts a known electrical quantity which can be either pressure which can be either force or a displacement into an electrical quantity so a uh, strain gauge can convert uh, either pressure force or displacement into an electrical quantity so what is the basic principle behind this principle of strain gauge principle is very simple it uh, works on the principle or a property which says that resistivity of a material changes when uh, with respect to uh, when when it is uh, strained so the principle says that resistance of a conductor or maybe a semiconductor changes when it is strained what we mean by strain so uh, let us take one example of a conductor wire so we have a conducting wire is in the in the form of cylindrical shape it is in the cylindrical shape the length of this wire is capital L initial length is capital L and the initial diameter of this wire is capital D and suppose uh, in this direction a tensile force is applied tensile force F is applied in this direction then what will happen the length of the wire will increase and the diameter will decrease so so let me draw this diagram once again due to this tensile force the length of this wire will increase let us suppose the length is increased with the factor delta L initially it was capital L and the diameter of this wire is decreased with the factor delta d so the new diameter is now d minus delta d now we know what is the resistance of a wire resistance of a wire is given by the expression a rho l by a where rho is the resistivity resistivity in ohm into centimeter l is the length in centimeter and a is the cross sectional area which is equals to pi r square but r is again diameter d is given to so uh, r is equal to d by 2 so it is equal to pi into d by 2 square so this pi by 4 into d square so resistance of a wire uh, conducting wire is given by this expression r is equal to delta l by a since we have applied a force tensile force in this direction the l will change also this cross sectional uh, cross sectional area a will also change hence the overall resistance of this wire will change so the whenever uh, the conductor or semiconductor uh, strain is applied now we know what is a longitudinal strain in this case longitudinal strain is given by delta l by l so because of this longitudinal strain the resistance will change and this change in resistance this change in resistance is directly proportional to the applied strain this is the basic principle of strain gauge 
Now, this uh, sensitivity of strain gauge often given by a factor which is known as gauge factor. So, the sensitivity sensitivity of strain gauge is is given by or is defined in terms of a factor which is known as gauge factor. Now, how a gauge factor is defined is defined by GF. So, gauge factor is defined by mathematical formula delta R by R divided by delta L by L where delta R is change in the resistance and R is the orig original resistance and delta L by L is the longitudinal strain. So this is how we define or we generally measure the sensitivity of strain gauge is in that in the form of gauge factor. So let us derive the expression of this gauge factor and then we will uh, further see what is the operation of this strain gauge. So let us first derive the expression of gauge factor. So let us derive this expression for the gauge factor which is uh, again uh, let me write this expression delta r by r divided by delta l by l. So let us uh, write it as equation number one. Now in order to derive this expression let uh, first uh, let us assume that the applied stress is equals to s and we know the resistance value r is equal to given by rho l by a. Now if you partially differentiate this equation with respect to stress s so let us partially differentiate this equation with respect to applied stress s then we will get this expression delta r by del r by del s is equals to first let us uh, differentiate with respect to l so this will be rho by a del l by del s plus l by a del rho by del s minus now this a is in denominator so it will be rho l by a square del a by del s now let us divide both sides with resistance r now remember this r is rho l by a so when we divide this expression 1 by r del r by del s is equal to when we divide this expression with r r is rho l by a when we divide this expression with rho l by a we'll get 1 by l del l by del s plus 1 by rho del rho by del s minus 1 by a del a by del s let this be equation number 2 now what we will do further we know what is the cross sectional area so what we know the cross sectional area a is given by pi by 4 d square where d is the diameter now we have we partially differentiate this with respect to s what we will get we get a since pi by 4 is constant this partial differentiate with respect to s del d by del s so we can further solve this at pi by 2 into d del d by del s we can put this value in this expression and for the solve this let us write the first the expression 1 by r del r by del s is equal to 1 by l del l by del s plus 1 by rho del rho by del s minus when you put this value in this expression you will get uh, pi d by 2a del d by del s now again we'll, we can put this a is equal to pi by 4 d square in this expression and further solve this it will get 1 by r del r by del s equals to 1 by l del l by del s plus 1 by rho del rho by del s minus 
Now, if we, if we put this value, we'll get this 2 by d del d by del s. Suppose this equation is equation number 3. Now, we'll introduce one potent parameter at this stage. We know the ratio of lateral strain upon let longitudinal strain is known as Poisson's ratio sigma. And this is given by this is given by lateral strain is del D by D and longitudinal strain is del L by L. So we can define or we can calculate the value of del D by D on this expression this comes out to be minus sigma del L by L. Let this is equation number 4. Now we can put this value in this equation number 3 here and we can further solve this. So what we will get? We get 1 by R del R by del S is equals to 1 by L del L by del S plus 1 by rho del rho by del s plus when we put this value in this expression we will get 2 sigma del l by l del s. Now since uh, the variation is very small the variation is very small the changes are very small we can always put this del r by del s equals to delta r del l by del s equals to delta l and del rho by del s equals to delta rho so we can for a small variation we can always uh, write this as these uh, expressions we can put these expressions in this equation and finally what we'll get delta r by r is equal to delta l by l plus delta rho by rho plus 2 sigma delta L by L. Now we can take delta L by L common from this uh, right hand side and put it in the uh, left hand side. So, so as to calculate this ratio delta L by R divided by delta L by L which is our gauge factor. We know what is gauge factor delta R by R delta L by L. Hence we can take delta L by L common from this side and can bring to the to to left side so from right hand side we'll be we'll left with 1 plus this is 2 sigma this is 2 sigma plus delta rho by rho divided by delta L by L now this ratio delta rho by rho is a very small compared to delta L by L hence we can neglect this quantity and the remaining expression for the gauge factor is is 1 plus 2 sigma so finally we got the value of gauge factor which is equal to 1 plus 2 sigma sigma is the Poisson's ratio now remember for a small uh, for a wire conductor wire the value of this Poisson factor is 0 0.3 hence the gauge factor value is equal to 1.6 and for metals uh, the value of this Poisson factor uh, lies let me let me write this here sigma uh, lies from 0 to 0.5 for metals now uh, let us solve one numerical problem and we'll finish so in this numerical problem, a strain gauge bounded to steel beam of uh, length is given as 0 0.2 and cross-sectional area is given as 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 3. Young's modulus of elasticity will define what is Young's modulus. Elasticity of a steel is given as 200 giga Newton per meter square. Strain gauge has an unstrained resistance. Unstrained resistance is given as 120 ohm and the uh, gauge factor, this is a gauge factor. This is a gauge factor is given as equals to 2. When the load is applied, the gauge resistance changes. That means the change in resistance delta R is given as 0 0.012 ohm. 
we need to calculate the change in the length of the steel beam and amount of force applied to the beam. So let us now solve this problem. Now what are the quantities given? Uh, let us first uh, write down the quantities which is which are given in the which are given in this problem. So the quantities which are given, the first one is the length of the beam is given. So L is given as 0 0.2 meter. The second quantity, the cross sectional area is given. Cross sectional area is 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square. Young's modulus is given. So y Young's modulus is denoted by y is given as 200 giga newton per meter square. The gauge factor value is given as 2. The gauge factor is given as 2. Change in resistance delta r. It, it causes a change in resistance delta r which is equal to 0 0.012 ohm. And resistance of a strain gauge is also given. This is resistance of 120 ohm resistance is also given now what what are the quantities we need to calculate we need to calculate what is delta l and the another quantity is what is the force applied the amount of force applied so f is need to be calculated and delta l is also need to be calculated now let us first calculate what is delta l so we know gauge factor is given by formula delta r by r divided by delta l by l out of these all quantities only delta l is is unknown all the quantities are known hence we can calculate delta l from this expression which is which comes out to be delta r by r multiplied by one upon gauge factor multiplied by l we can put these all values zero point delta r is 0 0.012 r is 120 gauge factor is 200 into uh, 200 sorry gauge factor is 2 l is 0 0.2 hence it comes out to be 10 to the power minus 5 meters so delta l we, we have determined the value of delta l this is the first part of the problem the second part applied force needs to be calculated now we know what is Young's modulus and relationship between Young's modulus and, and force. We know what is Young's modulus, it is stress upon strain. We know this relationship from uh, elementary classes. Uh, we have studied it, it in the 11th class. So the value of y is equal to stress upon strain, which is also stress is equal to force upon force per, in, per unit area, force upon area and strain is delta L by L. From this expression, we can calculate the value of force which is equals to Y multiply by delta L by L multiply by cross sectional area. From this expression, we can calculate the value of force. Now we can put the values given in the problem. So it is equals to 200 10 to power 9 because it is in giga Newton and delta l we have determined 10 to the power minus 5 l is 0 0.2 cross sectional area is given as 0 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 3 we can solve this to get the value of 4 which comes out to be 4 into 10 to the power 3 newton so we'll finish this lecture here in the next class we'll discuss about some more transducers. Thank you.